Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastin Padasale. So this video we are going to study the question that has been asked from unit number 9, unit number 10 and unit number 11 for our joint CACR UGC January 2022 examination. So this video I am going to discuss the question that has been asked in shift 2 examination. The upcoming video definitely I share the question that has been asked in shift 1. So first question is convergent evolution create what kind of cre uh, structures like it create analogous structure, homologous structure or synapomorphous or paleotrophic structure. So what does mean by convergent evolution? So when two different organisms they evolve independently possessing a similar trait with similar function is called convergent evolution. So for those organisms they are not derived from a common ancestor for example wings in insects, birds and bats. Okay, so this is an example of convergent evolution. So now the question is that convergent evolution create what kind of structure? So convergent evolution will be creating analog analogous structure which is also called as homoplasy whereas the divergent evolution will be having will be creating a homologous structure. So analogous structure means similar structure or similar function. Okay. Next question, which of the following pair of trite is most likely in a species with the maternal investment is very high. So there are two type of species, R selector species and K selector species. So when, which, we, first we need to identify in which species the maternal investment will be high. So the answer is for K selector species the parental care in otherwise it is called as maternal investment will be very high. So we need to list down the characters of K selector species. Okay. So example of K selector species includes your elephants and human beings. Okay. So they are asking what are the traits that are processed by maternal investment is very high. That is what are the traits that are being processing by K selector species. So first multiple reproductive event and high maternal mortality. No it is a wrong option. Next thing is the slow developmental rate and low maternal fecundity. Fecundity means nothing but ability to produce a more number of offsprings is called as fecundity. Okay. So this option is also a wrong because for case selected species the developmental rate will be very high. Okay. Next third option is that few reproductive even like they will be giving birth only for one or two offspring. The best example is for case selected species is the human who will be giving birth to one to ten offsprings. Okay. And the next thing is that no low maternal fecundity. So fecundity means what? Ability to produce a large number of offspring. So here they had given low maternal fecundity. So option number 3 is very correct. Okay. So the try that are processed by maternal investment is very high is they will be having a few reproductive event. At the same time they will be having a low maternal fecundity. The mother will be giving birth to only a little number of offsprings. Next question, the table below lists the name of organism and the different aspects of nervous system. Okay, so this is really a technical question that has been asked. So if you are from pure zoology only, you can able to answer the question. So let me give you, but anyway, one question will be asked either from nervous system or excretor system. So if you want, if you have more interest, you can look on to those kind of, system, uh, those kind of systems for insect. First thing is protozoans. So protozoans will be having a stimulus response coordination of nervous system whereas jellyfish they will be having a diffuse nervous system with small ganglia center. Next is the platform. The platform will be having a two cephalic ganglia and the two cephalic ganglia will be joined by a commission. Next are bony fishes. Bony fishes will be having a central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Okay. Next question. The following are the statement were made describing the probability of UPGMA3 that is unweighted uh, paired group method with arithmetic mean. Okay. So first you should know this that is UPGMA is a technique that is used for constructing the phylogenic tree. Okay. And this technique generally constructs a rooted phylogenic tree. So they had given four options and in that option they are asking which particular option possesses the correct property. So first option is that it describes a species relationship and therefore best method to describe new species. This particular technique is employed for constructing the phylogenetic tree and it is not used for taxonomical studies. So option number A is absolutely wrong. So simply you can omit this option number A and option number C. So either B and C option or C and D option is correct. Second option is it is a method of hierarchical clustering. Hierarchical clustering is an important method while constructing phylogenetic tree. So option number B is correct. Next thing is that in this particular technique the raw data is a similarity matrix and the initial tree is a rooted. This UPGMA technique will be creating a rooted phylogenetic tree whereas other technique like uh, if you take neighbor joining method or NJ method which is an another technique that is used for constructing phylogenetic tree it will be creating an unrooted phylogenetic tree. So option number B and option number C are 
correct okay so option number d what did they mention it permits lineages with a larger different branches blend and corrections for multiple substitution no it generally deals with the similarity matrix and not with the substitution matrix okay so option number b and option number c are correct next according to apg4 that is angiosperm phylogenetic group 4 so it is nothing but it's a system friends it's like a flowering plant classification and this fourth they are saying it's a fourth version of modern and the entire system has been based on molecular based uh, they have made a classification based on molecular biological state okay so according to this particular system which of the following group of angiosperm first diverge from a common ancestor of angiosperm so and the an answer is that nymphalis which uh, it's a group where it generally includes an aquatic plant example is that water lily and this particular group is an early diverging grade of all the flowering plants okay so the correct option is this particular thing and also every year at least one question will be coming under angiosperm so if you are referring angiosperm instead of going for book you just refer the recent articles or recent research that are undergoing in angiosperm okay next fragmentation breaks up contiguous tracts of natural habit into smaller patches okay so in a fragmented landscape where a previously large forest has become mosaic so this is a large forest due to few kind of natural disaster it has been becoming a mosaic okay and patches of different size so all the fragment are not of same size some are small some are large okay the following statement can be made about the fragment size and its species diversity so what does mean by species diversity or species richness so it is a measure of number of species present in a particular community or region and a measure of abundance of each species it's simply a count of species and here they had given four option in that option they are asking which of the following two options are correct first option smaller fragment will always have a low lower species richness than compared to larger fragment we cannot be able to give a assurity that always the small fragment will be having a low species richness okay so option number a is strong second option is species richness will depend upon the fragment size this is a correct option depending upon the fragment size the species richness will be there if the fragment size is large then there will be more number of uh, resources will be available okay so larger fragment might be having a larger species okay next option is that species richness will depend upon the physical connectivity between the fragment so there should be a physical connectivity between the fragment only then species richness will be increasing so option number b and option number c are correct next species richness cannot be compared between large fragment and small fragment of course we cannot able to compare the species richness between larger fragment and smaller fragment due to depending upon the resources present in that fragment okay next thing is that this table below enlist the name of scientists in different area of scientific contribution so they had given a name of scientists and area of scientific contribution okay so first thing is that alfred wallace so he is a british explorer who had framed the theory of evolution through natural selection so option number two is correct next conrad lawrence so he is an austrian zoologist okay who got nobel prize in the year of 1972 and what is her his role is that he has been considered as a father or a founder of modern ethology so ethology is a science that deals with the study of animal behavior next joseph bank okay so he was a botanist who was born in the year 1743 okay and he was a one who had given a name for a plant like eucalyptus for a tree like eucalyptus plant like acacia mimosa okay so he was considered as a father of botany next e o wilson so e o wilson he is considered as a father of biodiversity which simply he is related to uh, he made an immense contribution in the field of sociobiology next robert macarthur and e o wilson he is considered as a who devised the theory of island biogeography okay so option number d is correct option next select the correct option to describe the above graph so here they have given a graph and they are asking about the, which particular selection they are following like that okay so bird bill is nothing but they are speaking about bird peak of the bird also here they had given a graph okay and they are asking which the graph is following which particular selection either it is following neutral selection directional selection stabilizing selection or mutational selection you can simply omit option number a and option number d the selection actual selection is classified in two type direction selection stabilizing selection okay uh, 
so here they are asking simply by seeing the graph itself you can able to see it's following a directional selection because directional selection is a type of natural selection which occurs when a selective pressures are working in a favor of only one extreme of a trend like here you can able to see so when you look on the distribution of trade so in our case they are speaking about the trade called bird bill okay so here the distribution of trade the, the graph tends to move so here the graph is moving based on direction so the selection is the option number 2 direction selection is the correct option next select the correct statement based on animal territories so always the animal territories are inherited from the parent no they are they don't have no inheritance okay and next they are always non overlapping with a neighbor so animal territory is not a overlapping trait they don't overlap they don't share with their neighbors okay so extent of territory remain constant over generation they are not constant at all they keep on changing over changing generation and last option is that animal territories are always guarded and defended so they then the generally an animal will form a territory in order to protect them from a neighboring animals so option number c is the correct option a researcher was studying a cricket species find that a individual on either side of the large river so there was a large river running and there were two species lying behind the river that is on the opposite sides of river a1 and a2 okay the following statements were made regarding to call frequency so call frequency is nothing but vocal sound of a bird or insect okay so that's called as call call frequency first option is that different calls frequency may signal incipient speciation speciation what is mean by incipient speciation means when a population have a incomplete diversion or it is not fully isolated then that kind of speciation is called as incipient speciation they don't have mating friends but they will be morphologically same and they cannot able to be distinguished so different in call seek frol frequency may definitely signal a formation of incipient speciation change in call frequency can lead to allopatric speciation of course because what is mean by allopatric speciation when a two group of organisms are separated by a physical or geographical barrier for example they are space separated by mountain ocean or river so in our case they are separated by a river so definitely change in call frequency will lead to an allopatric speciation so option number b is also correct and individual of one population when they are transplantation to other population may have a low chance of finding mate than the resident because they are new to the particular population so they cannot able to find their mate easily okay so option number a b or and c are correct so option number d is of course a wrong statement because what did they say call frequency have changed from ultrasound to infrared across the river no generally if you think option number d is absolutely wrong next in high altitude meadow region it was observed that over last 5 years 20 frob species frob species is nothing but it's a herbaceous flowering plant and they are the group of plant species which will be having a similar growth form so in a meadow region there were 20 frob species been growing and they were flowering earlier 2 to 3 weeks earlier than the long term average time of flowering at the same time the fruit production has been fallen okay the following statement were proposed as reasonable expl explanation of why this is happening okay so first thing is that frogs are responding to warmer climate but pollinators are not available at that time okay so this is absolutely a correct statement so frogs are actually there but pollinators are highly important to uh, pollinate and to convert the flowers in uh, to fruit so option number a is correct next yearly flowering has increased the competition of pollinator this is also a correct the flower is uh, uh, if the flower is growing earlier means then it will be increasing the competition of pollinator so that's an again a why, uh, again one of the reason why the fruit production has been declined next fruiting and fruiting and flower sorry flowering and fruiting success are unrelated phenomenon in frogs no they are related only if a flower if the plant is producing flower then the next stage is fruiting because this frogs are herbaceous flowering plant okay so option number c is wrong and option number d animals that eat fruits are not available at the time so fruiting has been stopped this is absolutely a wrong statement because only animals if they are eating sweets are not available at the right time so fruiting has been stopped that's a wrong option so option number a and option number b are correct select the following statement from the option given below to complete the following in 1960s experiment were conducted to test the theory of island biogeography the main findings of these study indicated that over a long period of time they are asking us to complete rate of extension and colonization are not equal to each other 
that's the first thing so you should think a uh, rate of colonization rate of extension and colonization should be equal only then a community or ecosystem can able to function so option number a is wrong next colonization rate gradually exceeded extension rate this is also a wrong option as i mentioned you earlier that should be a balance between the rate of colonization and rate of extension so let me tell you the option number 3 which is correct because overall rate of colonization will be balanced by a rate of extension so if animal is getting extension then the space that has been left by animal will be uh, will be cleared by the colonization of new species so option number 3 is correct let me tell you option number 4 uh, rate of colonization will be continue to increase whereas the rate of extension will be decrease this is also a wrong option so keep in mind the rate of colonization will be balanced by the rate of extension or else the rate of colonization will be equal to rate of extension next thing which of the following constitute the largest reservoir of carbon in a global carbon cycle so this is a general knowledge question that you should know friends and the correct option is ocean they had given atmosphere plant biomass on land soil ocean they are asking largest reservoir of carbon is ocean ocean is simply called as carbon sinks and as this ocean absorbs more carbon because they are near to air so from here they will be absorbing more carbon so that's a reason why the ocean is called as largest reservoir and the smallest reservoir is the atmosphere because in atmosphere the amount of carbon will be very much less next fall army worm is a insect that is a resistant and fast invading and this fall army worm is considered as a destructive herbivore in agriculture system particularly in north india and they are asking which particular pest species that that particular order uh, they belong to okay so this fall army worm the order of this particular insect is they belong to leptidoptera okay so already i just made a detailed video for unit number 9 diversity of life form please watch the video i have given you a complete note for unit number 9 okay so the next we the next thing is that eco social societies are not characterized by which of the following so you should know when you if you take this particular society the best example is by understanding the bee society bees have three types okay first is queen they are reproductive female and next are worker they are non reproductive female and drone or male okay so queen alone will be having a reproductive uh, capacity whereas worker will be non reproductive okay they will be caring for the offspring produced by queen okay so which is a not a characteristic so eco societies will be having a altruistic character so here worker will be altruistic that that is they will be unselfish and the, and they will be benefit and they will be uh, they will be benefiting the queen but even though they are decreasing their own fitness like the worker bee cannot able to give rise to offsprings or reproduce but they are not considering and they are working unself that they are working selfish unselfishly to help the offspring that are given by the Uh, queens okay so first is altruism next is skin selection of course it is also a character of eco society society next is guarding again intruder of course it is a duty of worker who will be protecting the offspring as well as queens from the attack of invader so three option are correct they here they are asking which is not a characteristic so the last option is that they mention is that this eco society societies will be having a equal reproductive opportunity of course it is not the reproductive opportunities is not it is unequal because because if you take queens they are highly reproductive whereas if you take the worker they are not reproductive at all next recently bairongati area of uttarkashi has been declared as a conservation center for species referred as ghost of mountain actually ghost of mountain that is a film that was published on 2019 so which animal is called as ghost of mountain it is called snow leopard this particular animal is present in the himalayan region so this animal is considered as a scarc for uh, uh, for a people who are living over there they are considered as a scarc next select the correct combination of factor which will be deriving the particular animal to extension so first why does a animal are getting into extension again i just mentioned in the video in which i had i'll be giving the link of the video in the description okay so why the animal are getting extension mean first thing is that the population size will be reduced first option reduce population size correct loss of genetic diversity is also correct next inbreeding is also correct inbreeding will make the animal to get extension so 
option number A is correct. So option number B they had given immigration. Immigration and inbreeding are the two important categories or two important characteristics that will be making the animal to extinct. But the next thing is that fragmented animals, fragmented habitat. So fragmented habitat will not make the animal to get extinct because once the fragment has been, uh, once a particular habitat has been fragmented then there is an incorporation of new species. So at that time point the, the particular species will not become extinct. Next inbreeding. So in the second option will not be selected because this particular fragmented habitat is strong. Third option immigration. So I said immigration and outbreeding will save an animal going into extinction whereas immigration and inbreeding will pose an animal to extinction. And next, uh, this option is also wrong. Next, last option is cost gastrotrophic event. This is a correct one. Reduced population size, of course, it is also a correct one. But the last thing is that outbreeding. So, outbreeding generally saves the animal from extinction because animal living from one agent will be breed and another animal. Okay. So, outbreeding will be saving an animal from extinction. The last thing is that bias gene conver conversion, this is like I think many things will be new for you. This is nothing but a small scale of recombination has been proposed to cause a changes in allele in frequency in a population. And they are asking which of the following statements are not correct about the BGC that is bias gene conver conversion. So, this BGC is present in a bacteria as well as eukaryotic suggesting that this BGC is also present in the last universal common ancestor. Next, BGC can favor the fixation of deleterious toral allele. Of course, this have a capacity. So, during the gene conver conversion, it will be fixing a deleterious donor allele. Okay. So, next thing is that it is an example of non-adaptive evolutionary process. This is also a correct thing. So, this bias gene conversion is an example of non-adaptive evolutionary process. The last thing is that BGC select against small adaptation resulting in fixation of only advantageous mutation. Generally, if an organism has been encountering this bias gene con conversion means it will be resulting in fixation of deleterious allele here they had given fixation of only advantageous mutation the last option is wrong and here they are asking which of the option is not correct so correct option is option number c Next thing, select the correct combination of species and know the why the population getting declining. So, first thing is that honeybee. Honeybee has been declining due to an incorporation of this neonicotinoids because neonicotinoids is the neuroactive insecticide and it is chemically similar to nicotine. Okay. So, they are generally employed as an insecticide to kill the agriculture pest but along with killing agriculture pest, this particular insecticide is also been killing honeybees. Okay. So, Honeybees are declined due to the incorporation of neonicotinoids. Next is gyps vulture. Vultures are scavenger. Actually, this diclofenac, diclofenac is a major reason why this vulture are getting declined. This diclofenac is employed as a veterinary drug and this veterinary drug is present in the dead body of livestock. Okay. So, when this vulture, as they are scavenging, when they feed on the dead animal, they will be getting, the body will be incorporated with this diclofenac. First, the kidney of the bird will be affected. Next, it will be increased proportion of uric acid production will be there at last the bird will be encountering gout and death okay next shellfish shellfish uh, shellfish uh, is being decreased due to methyl mercury poisoning actually this methyl mercury is being used for production of uh, fluorescent bulb fluorescent light and bacteria and this methyl mercury is a common pollutant of air and water so that's how the shellfish has been recently they are decreasing okay so the reason for the shellfish declining is due to methyl mercury next is minnow so minnow is actually a fish and the population has been declining due to the production due to the incorporation of synthetic estrogen okay so synthetic estrogen they will be affecting the reproductive system of fishes so when the synthetic estrogen concentration is being increased in lakes like uh, this has been employed as a birth control pills when the birth control pills or medical waste has been uh, has been entering into lake and the lakes will be having a minnow these fishes will be in, uh, will be taking uh, will be taking the incorporate this estrogen and once the estrogen has been uh, taken into the fish body it will be lead to feminization of male as well as oogenesis in the female fish is also been getting affected okay uh, so thank you friends these are the question that has been asked with respect to the unit number 9 10 11 in shift 2 next video i'll be uploading the question that has been asked in you shift 1 okay thank you friends thanks for watching this video